Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Hosey's Corner. I'm Hosey and I'll be showing you some of Tokyo Japan's delicious foods and where to eat them. Let's go! First on the list is Skimen or Sukimen. Translated into English, it's known as dipping ramen. This ramen dish consists of noodles that are eaten after being dipped in a separate bowl of soup or broth. I had the pleasure of trying skimen for the first time at Funji, a local's restaurant near Shinjuku Station. I ordered a large bowl of skimen known as a special dipping noodle plus extra meat. The value of the meal was great and the noodles were so tasty and chewy. The flavor of the broth was delicious and very rich too. Second on the list is fluffy Japanese pancakes. The key to this pancake are the eggs. The egg whites are beaten until stiff peaks form and then are folded gently into the rest of the pancake batter. The pancakes are extra fluffy because of the air bubbles contained within the batter. When cooked correctly, they are almost souffle-like in consistency. I had Japanese pancakes for the first time at a Happy Pancake in Shinjuku. I ordered the apple cinnamon and granola Japanese pancake. My goodness, the whipped cream was so airy and creamy. Paired with the sweetness of the syrup, fruit, and fluffy pancakes, it was a perfect bite. Third on the list is Minchikatsu. Menchikatsu is a breaded deep fried croquette. It's a deliciously fried and tasty street food. The meat is typically beef or pork or a combination thereof and mixed with chopped onions, panko, salt, and pepper. Located near Sensoji Temple near the main street of Nakamise, head over to Asakusa's Menchi for their popular golden brown menchikatsu. Be prepared as there may be a line. For 250 yen, you can buy a piping hot, greasy, and flavor filled menchikatsu. I love their beef minchikatsu as it was crispy and very sweet from the onions, although it's pro not probably something you should have every day. Fourth on the list is unagi kabayaki. Unagi is ill and kabayaki is a method of grilling. Unagi kabayaki is usually served with fresh steamed white rice and a signature sweet sauce which complements the grilled eel. In Kanda Kikuwaka Naden restaurant, their menu is very limited to this eel specialty and is on the pricier side. Even so, this restaurant is very popular and lines are long. I had unagi danbori which is a dish where unagi is served on a bowl of rice. This was their small bowl since all their specials had been sold out by the time I had arrived. However, it was still very filling and delicious. The eel had a slight char flavor and was perfectly complemented with the fragrant white rice and sweet sauce. The side dishes served also balanced out the meal. Come early and be ready to splurge a bit for this delicacy. Number 5 on the list is Shabu Shabu. Shabu Shabu is a hot pot dish of thinly sliced meats and vegetables that are boiled in water, cooked tableside during the meal. It is also often served with dipping sauces and best enjoyed with two or more people. The broth is typically savory and is best tasted after various meats and vegetables have cooked in it, leaving the broth even more rich. I had the all-you-can-eat Japanese beef option at Momo Paradise Shinjuku Higashibuchi. Since it was all you can eat higher quality meat at a nice establishment, it was more expensive than an average meal, but it was well worth it. The Japanese beef and beef flank were so well marbled and tasty. They also had a nice assortment of vegetables and desserts. I definitely was not missing A5 Wagyu meat. Come here empty and be prepared to eat all you can. Oh, and wear some loose clothing too. Number six is sushi. A staple of Japanese cuisine, you can easily find quality sushi here. Sushi is prepared with rice and fish. 
Once the rice is cooked and combined with ingredients such as rice vinegar, oil, sugar, and salt, it's then topped with fish to give it its signature flavor. For a quick, fun, and affordable bite of sushi, head over to Genki Sushi for their conveyor belt style foods located in Shibuya. You place your order on a tablet and the food is sent to you via conveyor belt. Some of my favorites include their tuna sampler and seared fatty salmon. For an interesting taste, try the horse meat, it will surprise you. You can walk off what you've eaten after by shopping in Shibuya. Number 7 is Monja Yaki, also known as Monja. Similar to Okonomiyaki, Monja is a type of Japanese pan fried batter but uses different liquid ingredients such as dashi. Monja is popular in the Kanto, Tokyo area, whereas Okonomiyaki is popular in the Kansai and Hiroshima area. In addition, Monja's consistency is runnier. Before cooking, all the ingredients need to be finely chopped. This process continues on the grill with spatulas. I tried Monja for the first time at Okonomiyaki Mountain, also known as Jun Kisa Mountain, on the second floor. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Well, get ready for a smoky and good time as you get to play with your food here. Monja here reminded me of warm, crispy comfort food, like crispy kanji, if that's possible. It was especially yummy with a cold beer. Number eight is tonkotsu ramen. It's a ramen dish where the soup broth is based on pork bones, which are simmered for hours, allowing for the pork marrow to release all of its delicious flavors, creating a cloudy rich broth. When served, it comes with ramen noodles, slices of pork belly, and other ingredients such as eggs and scallions. After a long day of hanging out near Mount Fuji, my husband and I were hungry when we returned to Tokyo. We decided to have tonkotsu ramen at Ichiran Ramen in Shinjuku. We paid for our meal via vending machine. I went with their recommendations such as spiciness, richness, noodle texture, and ingredients, but you can customize your ramen however you'd like. This was another comforting, satisfying, and affordable meal. The matcha almond pudding with green tea sauce dessert ended the meal perfectly too. It was sweet without being over the top. My only advice would be to get there early as there is usually a long line. And don't forget to slurp that ramen. Number 9 is grilled tuna skewer from Skeji Market. The tuna is grilled and broiled with a torch right after your order. I've had plenty of tasty raw and cooked tuna before, but this tuna skewer blew all my expectations. I never thought that tuna's flavor profile could be this elevated with just proper cooking, quality tuna meat, salt and pepper. It was so moist, tender and flaky that I had to have two orders. Oh, and enjoying it with a cold draft beer was icing on the cake. Just for reference, I ate at over half a dozen stalls in Skiji Market that day, and this was the only location that I had to have seconds. However, I could do a video on Skiji Market alone. The food there was phenomenal. This grilled tuna skewer shop is relatively new compared to its counterparts, but everything about it from the owner, food, and decor will have you coming back for more. Number 10 is tonkatsu. Tonkatsu is a Japanese fried pork cutlet. Pork is pounded to make it thin, breaded with panko to make it light and deep fried. It's often served with shredded cabbage, a bed of rice, or both. In Tokyo Bueno's neighborhood, I had this delicious bowl at Tonkatsu Yamabe. It's a very popular local's restaurant whose specialty is tonkatsu. Unfortunately, I couldn't take any videos inside, but I can share with you this. The pork cutlet was so tender, light, and moist. Paired with soup, pickled vegetables, crunchy cabbage, and fragrant rice, it made me so happy. And there you have it, some delicious eats in Tokyo, Japan. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out by hitting that like and subscribe button and comment below. Until next time, thanks for hanging out with me at Hosey's Corner.